Hello and welcome to Pure and True Essentials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make liquid soap. You might ask me again, yes, again, but this time I'm going to make it on the stove top. Many viewers had asked me if they could make uh, the crock pot liquid soap on a stove top. And I replied, yes, but I've never tested it. Uh, so I went ahead and tried it and it came out to be quick and very, very easy. So going forward, I'm going to try this total of method. It takes sometime between 20 to 30 minutes to get the soap ready. So I'm so excited to share this with you. I had the recipe to this soap in the description box below. So if you want to try it, give it a try. I have a gas stove top, but if you have an induction, that works perfect. Come on, let's jump into the video. Melting measured coconut oil in the lowest flame. Take all safety measures before mixing lye. For liquid soap making, we will be using potassium hydroxide. Once you have dissolved all the lye, it's ready to be poured into the oil. Unlike cold process soap, we don't have to wait for the temperature to go down. I'm not going to check the temperature. I'm adding the lye water and I am going to start stick blending. I've been stick blending for around three minutes on and off, but I have not got any trace yet. As the pot is very hot, make sure your cord is not touching the pot or vessel that you're cooking with. And it's been seven minutes and still I've not got any trace. I raised the flame at this point and it's been 10 minutes and I can see some texture in the soap batter. And since I raised the flame, it started bubbling. I'm reducing the flame now and using the spatula to bring down the boil. I recommend using a stainless steel stick blender. If it's a plastic one, it might melt because the temperature that we are soaping with is very high. It's been 15 minutes and still no trace and I'm also worried if my stick blender is going to die and I'm so glad I didn't use a plastic stick blender. I'm sure if I'd used one it must have either melted or stopped working. On the base of the stick blender you can see if the soap has reached trays but no it's been 18 minutes and still no trace. My hands are tired so I'm taking a break from stick blending and using my spatula. It's been 25 minutes and still no trace and here I am seeing the soap getting saponified yes it's getting a little solid i can feel it and i think the soap is getting cooked and it's getting saponified and yes it's getting solid yes 25 minutes and the soap is almost ready I'm going to stop stick blending and I'm going to use a spatula to mix it and bring all together. You can see some part of the soap being translucent in color and some like a solid cream color it has to cook for some more time it's been 35 minutes and the soap is fully cooked 
and we got the liquid soap paste ready and you can see the color is translucent some soap on the sides may not be cooked I'm scraping the sides and putting the flame in low for it to get cooked for the clarity test I'm measuring two ounce of distilled water and I'm planning on adding one ounce of liquid paste if you're using tap water or any other water apart from filtered or distilled water your clarity test will end up cloudy You can see the water is clear and I passed the clarity test. As I ran out of all my liquid soap, I want to dilute all my liquid paste, hence measuring 2000 grams of distilled water since I had 1000 grams of oil in this recipe. I'm using 1 is to 2 ratio in this recipe, but it's your preference. You can use 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2 or 1 is to 1.5 ratio. And here the pH level test, it turned green, which is good. We are at a good pH balance here. Since I scraped the sides and wanted the paste on the sides to get cooked, I'm again doing a clarity test. And yes, this time it's very clear. And so we are set to add the hot water into the liquid paste. I am boiling some water so I can dilute it very fast. Again testing my pH level and yes it's green we are good. Taking a closer look it's green so we are good and the water is ready it's boiling and the paste is also ready and I switched off the flame. Adding in boiling hot water into the paste. I prefer heating the water before I add it to the paste. That way it will dilute faster. I'm going to let this sit overnight and let's come back in the morning. I left it overnight and you can see the paste has fully dissolved and our soap is ready. I want to show how thin my soap consistency is. I prefer it this way but you can either make it thick or thin it's totally your preference but this does the job i use it for cleaning my pots and pans i use it for laundry i use it for so many other things around my house In my next video, I want to show you how I'm using this liquid soap around my house. So stay tuned. If you end up trying this recipe, let me know how it turned out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. 
and also visit my other social media platforms. See you next time.